trong bóng đêm địa cầu quê hương tôi đã mòn mỏi mong chờ giờ màu nhiệm để vô biên hẹn mà cho bóng tôi tan đi với niềm lo sợ cho hồi lòng hoa về cho hồi lòng hoa về Many times I have wondered when do I have this awareness of war and it seems like it's always there. My grandma, during her time, the French was there. I got a little briefing about the you know, Westerner and the first time I saw an American, it was scary. Communists, you know, we don't contain them there, they'll be in Honolulu next and San Francisco the week after that. We were scared to death of communism. Complete chaos in South Vietnam. We said, we'll sort that out for you. Little the Yankee uh, know-how will fix this up pretty fast. We thought that America couldn't win because Vietnamese are known for thousands of years for repelling invaders. Climb out on the standard departure route, level off at Point Bravo, proceed to Point Charlie, to Point Delta, proceed to Point Echo, to Point Foxtrot. seemed to be a matter of fact to me that we would be there for a certain amount of time and it would be over and we would win. I mean, that was our history as Americans. big old adrenaline rush. There was this, you know, a whole airstrip just like filled with B-52s, just like in perfect order. So powerful looking, these big, huge birds. It was easy to think, oh, that little black pajama guy out there with an old French rifle, well, he can't be any threat to us. These were very good soldiers. And uh, North Vietnamese had troops and regimental strength. 
very good troops, very good regiments in South Vietnam. What I did, well, I was in infantry. I was a replacement for three guys who'd got killed like a day or two before. And what had happened was that they set up the perimeter, and as it turned out, that night it rained pretty heavily. I mean, they were hiding their heads and stuff with ponchos and protecting themselves from the elements. And uh, during that time, uh, these guys crawled up and cut three guys' throats. The way I think it was discovered was that uh, one of the guys was like talking to one of the guys and you know low keyed and whatnot and all of a sudden the guy didn't answer man and to this day he apologizes he apologizes for letting them down and it's like man it wasn't your fault and it wasn't his fault it just happened that way <laughs> 